Barbara McDowell Dowdall. Okay. Happy to be sitting here in room 105 where I spent many happy hours early in the morning in rehearsals. Uh, I, I arrived here able to play the bassoon. I picked up at Roosevelt Junior High in Germantown. Thank you to that teacher. And I uh, joined the orchestra here, so I was sitting here many, many hours. Uh, running in and out of that side door over to the auditorium into the pit and uh, it was the anchor of my life in high school, the orchestra. I went to Temple University down by the subway track so someone else said today stay on the Broad Street line. Um, I still was playing bassoon in the youth orchestra of Philadelphia, not a temple, and uh, eventually majored in English. I thought I was going to be a social worker at first, but then I switched to English and uh, had some random number of jobs and finally decided to go into teaching. Well, I resisted it because there was a heavy message here that we should all become teachers. So. I resisted that for a while. Okay, I got involved uh, at the time of the sesquicentennial, the 150th anniversary of the school in 1998. And I helped with that event. We started. Talked to graduates f almost covering the whole 20th century and uncovered some wonderful stories and some sad stories in that process. of uh, paying back uh, and you know I didn't get involved until it was 34 years after I graduated when I got active and then I've been very active for 20 years. Edited the alumni news for 17 years. So it's never too late, number one. And number two, if you had a really wonderful time at this school, you want to come and help the current generation to also have a wonderful time. Or if you had a terrible time at the school, <laughs> which we uncovered some of those stories through the years in the alumni news, then you want to come and, and make sure that the current students don't have that kind of experience. And especially now with the School District of Philadelphia uh, in the underfunding of our, of our programs, the lack of a library the last five years, but schools throughout the city uh, need the help of people who benefited from the education they got in our public schools. So I say this to the members of my class and other people, it's not just our school. Yes, you should come back as a loyal graduate, but also any of the public schools in Philadelphia which need uh, resources. And that includes providing resources, donating, volunteering, but also advocating to the officials in government who are responsible for properly funding our schools and providing the things that many of us enjoyed. Music, art, sports, and uh, a library with a librarian. Any last words you'd like to say? Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I went to my sister's graduation for Girls High, the last class from the old building, and uh, that's why I thought I should follow her. And the friends that I made there, I have friends today all over the country and all over the world. And your class number is? 206. Thank you so much. But before I close, you were also a teacher here? I would managed to teach here one year uh, in my travels through the, through the 36 years in the school district. Uh, it was 20 years after my graduation, so I think I really bored some of those poor ninth graders of whom you are one with stories of, well, when we were here we did X, Y, and Z, but uh, the students were very tol tolerant, and uh, I'm thrilled to be able to run into them today, including you, Alicia. Well, thank you so much. Could you talk a little bit about this? Yeah, this, I, I brought two copies of this poster back in the, in the early 1980s. My uh, daughters went to the Cooperative Nursery School at the Unitarian Church of Germantown. And we had a series of fundraisers for the nursery school, and it just happened that one of the women honored today, Kim Harris, uh, and her husband Reggie, were uh, 
presented a musical program, Songs of the Underground Railroad, for one of the programs. And then I was in the Germantown Woodwind Quintet. We did Peter and the Wolf. And I had always wanted to play in a woodwind quintet called Germantown. <laughs> so I had that chance and so we were in the same bill back in the early 80s and today I got to see her inducted into the Distinguished Order's Court of Honor. Would you like to say anything else? Uh, uh, thank you Philadelphia School District for the opportunity to be a musician which I'm still doing today.